Moving toward uh, completion this week of both the extension of the student loan rates at the current uh, level for another year. The President's been largely uninvolved in that, but Senator Reid and I have an understanding that we think will be acceptable to the House. That may or may not be coupled with the highway uh, proposal. Both need to be dealt with uh, this week. Well, everybody's waiting with uh, great expectations for the Supreme Court's decision on Thursday with regard to health care. And irrespective of what the court decides, I think there are some things that we can agree on. And one is that the Obamacare has made the economy worse. Higher costs and fewer jobs, Obamacare is something that as a country we simply cannot afford. It's a two and a half trillion dollar expansion of the federal government. Uh, over a 10-year period when it's fully implemented. So no matter what the Supreme Court does on Thursday, this law, as written, 2,700 pages long, is still a law that is bad for patients, it is bad for the nurses and the doctors who take care of those patients, and it's terrible for taxpayers. And that's why no matter what the Supreme Court rules, I'm committed to working to repeal whatever may be standing of the law at the end and trying to replace it in a step-by-step, common-sense way so that patients can get what they've been looking for from the beginning. But the, the American people have taken Nancy Pelosi's advice. They found out what was in the bill after it was passed, uh, and they know they don't want to go in that direction. There are better things to do. What we want to do is have the uh, administration uh, sit down and cooperate with Congress like, uh, like the Constitution provides for in, in a legitimate investigation into the operation of uh, not only our national security apparatus but also uh, law enforcement investigations like uh, Operation Fast and Furious.